First name Thomas, last name Jackson. T H O M A S J A C K S O N. So ADMG is a business, it's a brand, it's a family, it's a lifestyle. First off, it stands for Audio Dope Music Group, which is founded by me and my brother Dot, better known as Sean. We got a good family member of people. We got me, of course, we got Buddha Hayes, we got Sway, we got Sway, we got Tay, we got my cousin Country. Devontae Reed, <laughs> D-E-V-A-N-T-E-R-E-E-D-E-S. Oh yeah, Julian Harris, J-U-L-I-A-N-H-A-R-R-I-S. We just said, you know what, let's go ahead and do this business. You know, we we already know what you can do. Mm -hmm. We know what you're able to pull. We know what type of muscle, you know, you're working with. And we got the talent. And it was just easy. Right. You know, once you got that person that can push you and put you in the right situations, and he had the right talent that can get him into the right situations, it, it, it's, bound, it's bound to be good business. It's bound to you know, create some type of history and just something, the beginning of something big, you know, that's how I feel. With this merger of Livestar and ADMG, I feel like it's the beginning of something that's, something that's going to pop, you know. Well, first off, we know that we got to always keep ourselves quarantined, wearing face masks, always make sure we keep hand sanitizing. And like when other clients come in and record, at least make sure at least make sure that they got a face mask as well and most importantly social distancing because that's very important during this quarantine and pandemic. Before the pandemic, uh working. Yeah. Yeah, outside of this like a it ain't really changed for me, man. It ain't really changed. It, <laughs> it, it, it got easy, busy. Man. It yeah, got exactly. busy. You know, I work for FedEx. Yeah. So as soon as the pandemic hit, it 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 brought us more business than anything else. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody's at home, everybody's ordering online, everybody's shopping online. Actually it made us busy before the peak season. Before cause peak season is now. after next month. Yep. It's now, now, now for us because <laughs> of the pandemic, but the real deal is coming out the next month, and it, it, it's a blessing because it kept us busy, but then again, it's a curse because now we're going into the busy season already busy, and we don't know what to expect. We don't know what, what we're going to deal with, so it's a monster that created itself, but I can say the Rona didn't stop nothing on my end. Um, kept working, um, and I'm blessed, you know, because it's a lot of people that's been affected by Corona. It's a lot of people that lost jobs, a lot of nice. people that got behind in bills, a lot of people that got evicted. It's definitely a messed up situation, and you know, the unemployment rate went up high, you know, it's a lot of people that was depending on them stimulus checks, and mm -hmm. you know, it's sad. It's sad to see people losing homes and losing cars and losing jobs and stuff because of a pandemic that, you know, they didn't create. You know, so it's sad seeing people being put in bad situations. But, you know, I guess I can say I'm blessed because I work for FedEx. As long as hospitals need blood and organs and supplies, I, I got a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm blessed. I can really say that, you know, the pandemic really ain't hurt me one bit, you know. It really put the hustle behind me. Exactly. exactly. For real, though. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like everybody's scared to work, too. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, nah, yeah. Bill's not gonna stop. You have more the people that yeah. you have more people that rather live off the unemployment than come back to work because some of them just scared of fact. you know <laughs> scared of the pandemic. And to be honest, some was making way more money than they was at work. Mm -hmm. You know, sitting at the crib. Sitting at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm making more money at the crib and I'm getting yeah. these unemployment checks and I'm making double than what I make to actually get up and go to work, I would have been sitting at home too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been sitting there chilling, like, yeah, right. that check dropping this Friday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All I got to do is record. Exactly. Well, what brought me to doing music is like me being um, a young age, 
preferably a toddler. Like I remember my pops bought me a drum set. And there's an extra video where I was beating on pots and pans. Didn't know what I was doing at a young age, but over time I fell in love with music. And as I got older, I went into playing in the marching band. I done played the piano keyboard in middle school. And like, I come from a rough up background and it's like dealing with music sometimes. It's a positive outlet to get your energy y'all because sometimes you can talk to somebody but they may not understand that the pain that you're going through. So I feel like music is a positive outlet to express your emotions and get your point across. Well, I would say what Livestar and ADMG need to do to be the next cash money is focus on our team and do what everybody not doing for us, worrying about the people in the city, what they're doing, focus on our goal and our career, and stay on top of our A game and stay focused. The next release that we got is called Pop My Edge, with me and Jay Harris featuring Tay Grizzly and me. And that should be dropping on the 16th of this month, or well, should be a little sooner, but we're dropping it real soon. And then after that, I'm working on my next project, Sobriety, which will be shot here in another week or two. What's next for ADMG Live Star? It's building the catalog up as a whole, because like I said, it's our first time really partnership together with one, so it's really building the catalog, getting the face out there more, and rubbing shoulders with the right people. It's, it's 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 a mix because it makes it harder because you know with the shows and the events mm -hmm. it's less events for the artists now because of the pandemic and the rules and the regulations and you know we're in Charlotte so you know any club or any venue can't serve alcohol until after eleven and that's a buzzkill to anybody that want to go out and have a good time so it it, it hurt but it kind of show you as an artist how to grind. Even in these circumstances, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got artists doing live concerts on Instagram. You got artists just doing, taking it more to social media than anything else. And it kind of it kind of taught me how to grind in a situation like this. Like, if I can't do no shows and I can't do this, then I can, I can find a different avenue or create something different that I can still promote my music and everything through. But it won't be the usual that, you know, most artists do like doing shows. Like, I can do a show of my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's what a lot of these artists been doing, you know, live shows, you know, so. So, like, believe it or not, though, people tap in, though, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, they see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They hear the quality. They, hey, who record that? Yeah, that's exactly. nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But you can find ADMG Livestar Catalog on any platform that you can purchase music on from Spotify Title, Apple Music, YouTube, wherever you can find music.